while I have you, I have decided that I'm not going to vlog this weekend or this trip just so I can be present in the moment and spend some time with my husband, which, you know, poor guy, he's neglected sometimes. Between work and the kids and everything, you have to find time for your relationship. So before I go, I want to show you some new luxury items that I have received. And I want to show you skincare products I'm currently like obsessed with. Hello, hello, guess what? It is Friday. It is Friday in the office, come with me. We are going to, to um, out east. Uh, my husband and I are going to spend some time together for two whole days. So tonight we have a brand dinner with Zimmerman to go to and I'm bringing my husband uh, for the first time. He, he's really not into like doing those kinds of events, but I thought, why not kill two birds with one stone, spend some time with him and go to see some of my favorite brands and have dinner with them. So we're gonna do that tonight. So we need to pack up something really quickly and then I have to run and get my nails did. I need just like a regular basic manicure, or something super quick. So, okay, we need a dress for tonight and I wanna pack a bathing suit and something to wear tomorrow. So let's see, let's see what we have. Let me, let me put you down. I don't even know what is in here. I don't even know what I'm looking for in here. I have this really cute top. Remember this top? I don't know if you guys remember this. This top is from when I shot my Teresa, I kept this top. So why don't we do this top and some like trousers? Also, this is always a vibe. This is always something good. We have some more sunglasses here. Okay, let's get out of here and go into my closet. I love these so much. These like Zara. I got these from Zara so long ago, but we're, we need the belt. So this paired with this and maybe this really cute small Loewe bag, I think would be really cute. You know, I never wear this Chanel bag, which could also be a vibe. Or no, right? No, because it's a little off. What about this? That could be chic, right? Maybe we'll do that. Okay, so we have one outfit or, is this too much? I, I feel like I haven't carried this Taz bag in so long. It's like a, it's supposed to just kind of be like an oversized, no fuss, effortless vibe situation. Let me show you what I'm going to wear to the dinner. Here we go. I'm wearing this to the dinner. Cute, very cute. And then I just saw a dress that we can pack too. And let's do this. This really pretty dress. Okay, I think we're done. We're done here. So we got one outfit for tonight, one outfit for um, tomorrow in case we need. Um, and then I, we also have a lounging outfit. And then, you know what we need? We need just like a quick pool vibe, maybe some yoga clothes because your girl is feeling really, really like tight in the leg and stuff. I worked out this morning and I did boxing on the hill cause it's Friday and I just feel super duper tight. But wait, where is the belt to these pants? Before we forget, we need the belt guys. We need the belt. Oh, here it goes. Problem solved. We got the belt. Do you think we should bring Jane shorts? I put all my sandals in like this um, organization. I don't know what this is. I think I got it from CB2 or something, but the sandals can all go, cause they're so small. I feel like they can all go up right here. So I think these would be better with the orange dress. All right, look at that. Should we do this with the orange dress? Or, or do you like something like this? Just for some context, the, the dinner is on a beach. So I just want it to be very like, very just like a pretty beach vibe, you know? Definitely no heels. We don't want to try too hard. The other ones, right? Okay, let's do the other ones. So if we bring these, we can also wear this with the dress. We can also wear it with the green outfit. And then maybe we should just bring some flip-flops just in case something goes wrong. Hmm. How about a pair of like brown Hermes sandals? Or do we want to funk it up and bring... Why does it take me so long to back? Like it's ridiculous. How about these cute Roger Vivier shoes to go with the trousers? I think that could be cute. All right, so we have this, this, these. Let's get a dust bag. We need a dust bag. Do we need anything else? We need a bathing suit. Duh. 
Do you think I should wear the bathing suit that I wore last week at the pool party that we had at my house? Or look at this again. I have a whole thing of bathing suits. Oh, why don't we just do this one? This cute, like, it's pink. I feel like this, like, off the shoulder one is really cute, too. Very chic vibe. Like, am I really tanning in this? Probably not. You know, I think it's just more for the look. Why don't we just bring it just in case? Everything in here is packed. While I have you, I have decided that I'm not going to vlog this weekend or this trip just so I can be present in the moment and spend some time with my husband, which, you know, poor guy, he's neglected sometimes. So, you know, with, between work and the kids and everything, you have to find time for your relationship. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog somewhere over here. So before I go, because I'm gonna have to bounce very soon, I want to show you some new luxury items that I have received and have been rocking. Um, and I wanna show you skincare products I'm currently like, obsessed with um, i did pack a couple of these pieces so number one let's start with skincare skincare lately for me i think has been not even lately i think over the last year and a half or so i've really upped my game with you know really concentrating on my gut health from the inside out and like trying to figure out like what probiotics I should take to make my skin glow. I have showed you several times that I, I use the Saqqara, um, the Saqqara probiotics, which are really good for gut health and um, just anything in general that are that has a lot of probiotics in it. Things like kimchi. I love, love, love kimchi. So those are the things that I will eat for my insides. <laughs> and then for the out, I'm really working on like having very glowy skin. <clears throat> Let's get very up close and personal. Look, I have sunspots mixed in with freckles and all the above. Now for a second, I was thinking to myself, do I want to get laser? I spoke to my dermatologist and I was like, you know, how can I get rid of these spots to give me more of like a youthful glowy appearance? And she's like, you should do Fraxel. I'm scared to death of Fraxel. Like Fraxel basically like burns off a layer of your skin. And then of course you're numbed while they do it. But the whole process lasts for a good week of your skin being super dry and very sensitive. And I'm like, I just didn't want to do it. I saw my friend Helena, she did it. And after that, like she stayed away from the sun. Her skin was just like amazing. However, I'm like, I'm kind of like, ah, I just didn't want to go that route. I didn't want to go that extreme. So I started seeing Joanna, Joanna check. And you know, you remember the one who was like slapping up my face. She's like, no, not everyone's skin type is good for Fraxel. And um, I suffer from a little bit of melasma. As you can see here, it kind of looks like I have a permanent mustache. It's actually melasma. So when it's hot or when I use, take a hot shower, like super, super hot, and I'm in there for long periods of time, um, washing my face with hot water and cloths and things like that, my melasma tends to come out. In the sun, I, t I, I need to put extra SPF around this area. Um, but usually in the hotter months is when my melasma kind of like acts up. I had one dermatologist that was like, just wash your face with cold water, cold water. Melasma does not like the heat at all. So cold water will be your best friend, even though it kind of sucks. So anyway, all of that to say, um, Joanna was like, look, this is part of your skin. This is your skin. Like you've lived a little bit of life. We can lighten them and we can do things that still make your, your skin very glowy. But she didn't recommend me getting Fraxel or anything like that. She was like, let me just work with you. So I will keep you posted in the colder months on what I'm gonna be using. I'm definitely gonna start microneedling, um, using some creams to kind of like maybe lighten those spots up a little bit. But now I'm, for the most part, I'm like, it's summer, just rock them, you know? The, the spots are gonna come out anyway. All right, let's get into products before I talk your head off. Products I literally am just loving right now. 
This is the Super Goop SPF 50. This is the one that I use all over my body. And when I'm working out in the morning, I throw this on my face as well. I think this is a really good, good sunscreen. I am obsessed with this one. This is the Dior, um, this is the Dior Subline Glow. This is also an SPF 50. The only downfall to this SPF is that it's not sold in the States. It is sold in Europe. You can get it from duty free. So definitely gonna take advantage of that when I go overseas. But someone told me on my stories the other day that you can get it from certain websites that will ship it to you. I'm just not sure which ones. Next up is a cleansing foam that I am obsessed with. This is by Clay de Po. Now this Clay de Po like lasts me a lifetime. It's to the point that even my husband loves this one. So every time we go somewhere, I have to pack it because he's always like, what up, where that Clay de Po? <laughs> anyway, I highly recommend it. It is a splurge. This is definitely going to be a little bit of a splurge. It's probably gonna run you about 75 bucks for a cleanser. I know, very expensive. However, I don't feel like my skin or the oils in my skin are being stripped away. You know how sometimes you can wash your skin and it comes out and everything's so tight and dry? I don't get that feeling from this. I feel like it's a really good foam and how it works is you just, this will last you for a very long time. You only need a tiny, tiny bit with a little bit of water and you really, really lather it up and work up like a really good foam and then just kind of go in there and really clean your face. Now I will use a cleansing balm or some sort of oil. Currently using this cleansing oil. I got this cleansing oil from uh, Joanna Check. She recommended it to me and I'm like, this is bomb. So I'll go in with a, with a good cleansing oil to get everything off and then go in for a second wash. Now, another thing that I highly, highly recommend is this product. I found it at this spa in Tribeca. I forgot what it was called. Like I'm going on this like whole hunt where I want to try all these different spas and stuff. And it was like all clean skincare that actually works. And it is a company called Ven and they are definitely backed by science and technology, but um, it's made in Korea. And this particular one is made with all vitamin Bs and it's activated all in one like concentrated serum. And what it does is it really brightens the skin. It dulls those spots on your skin, like say these spots, for example, they, I've definitely noticed that they have been dulling down just a bit, but overall my skin has just been glowing. It's just brighter, it just feels brighter. Now, another one that is a huge splurge. I bought this with my own coin. I just wanna go out there and say I was not gifted. I would love to be gifted though. But this was so expensive. It was $185 and I was like, huh? <laughs> Skincare is expensive. I was like, wait a minute. But I have to be honest, I would buy this again and again and again. It really works. You need only about one or two two pumps and really just push it into the skin. Give it about four, six, four to six weeks and you're really gonna see a nice difference in your skin. Love this one. Just started using the Capture Total by Dior. This is their super potent, super potent rich cream. Now this was gifted to me. When I think luxury, like luxury brands, luxury houses and clothing, like fashion luxury houses, I usually do not think that they have good skincare. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So I was kind of like on the fence and skeptical until I started using this. And then I also saw that it was also backed by like 30 years of science. And now I'm totally on board. It is extremely moisturizing. I use this one in the day and it just keeps my face feeling super plump and just great. There's also another Dior lotion that I am obsessed with, but I don't know where I put it. And I wanted to show you a couple more things before I go into luxury. So lotion, I did a campaign for this company called Necessaire and they make really great lotion as well as body soap. And now I don't have a hookup there anymore. <laughs> And I would love for them to send me more product, but I've been buying it with my own coin. So I love finding new brands that I wouldn't normally try because of ads. And then I just become hooked on it. And I have purchased this maybe about three or four more times after I have done the campaign. And I really, really like their products. Now let's move on to some tools that I'm using on my skin. And that is definitely the new face. If you guys want, I can do like a whole dedicated video on it. Now I was so skeptical about the new face I like refused to purchase it for so long because I just I just 
I didn't know if I wanted to splurge on this type of device. And I have to be honest, I think it works. However, you have to use it at least four to five days a week. I think that this is something that you have, the more you use it, the better the results are gonna be. So every 24 hours, you need to get in there and just kinda, so especially if I'm going to do things like sh like the day if I'm having a photo shoot or something, I really feel like it really picks up my cheek area because usually when I'm using it, I really pop up the cheek area and then bring it back up over here and it just kind of like lifts those laugh line area and pulls back the skin and tightens and it also gives me that that snatch look. Yes, I'm snatch. So do I think it's worth it? I do, I do. I think it's the, probably one of the best tool that you can use at home on the market. I love it. Do I love the gel? I do not, I do not. I wanna be very honest, I don't like this gel at all. I don't like the way it feels on my skin. Actually, when I put it on, it feels like it's burning and it's the only gel I have on right now. So this particular gel is their hydrating leave-on formula. I never leave it on. So I put the gel on, it's like a thick coat when I'm using this so it doesn't zap you. And as soon as I'm done with like that one particular side, I go ahead and I take a, a washcloth and I wipe it off and get to the other side. And then when I'm done, I literally just wash all of it off because I don't like the way it feels. Now I did hear like they are going to discontinue this gel altogether and they came out with, it kind of looks like a deodorant roll, like a circle one and it kind of rolls up and it comes with a, a little brush that you put on your face. I have not tried that yet. I'll keep you posted if I try it. But I also heard to be honest with you, you can just use regular like ultrasound gel and um, it's still kind of, does what it's supposed to do. Um, I do want to try the regular Amazon ultrasound gel or wherever you get ultrasound gel from and see how that goes. So I will keep you posted on that as well. Last thing that I wanted to show you and I talked about really briefly in another video is this crazy splurge that I got for my face and that is the Saluma. It's been one week since I've been using the Saluma. My face is definitely feeling a lot tighter. Let's get all up in here. My skin is definitely feeling a lot tighter and brighter. However, I wanna continuously use this for a good four to six weeks before I really get into um, talking about it so I can give my honest opinion, but this is what it looks like. And then you just put it over your face and it's really great for if you have acne, it has its own acne settings as well. And it's supposed to be able to transform your face. So as you can see, it has all of these settings right here. And then it also, so I use the wrinkles. And the other day I had like the worst PMS. I felt like I put it around my, my stomach area for just cramps. So it works really well with aches and pains as well. And considering I, I'm always at the gym or working out, you definitely can kind of like wrap it around it's very flexible so you can wrap it around your legs the closer this area is to the skin the better that it works and each session is 30 minutes so I will say if you can't sit still for 30 minutes every day don't bother it's something I, I pop in a podcast. I just started listening to like this manifestation podcast called Manifestation Babe. I'll keep you posted on that. But if you want to check it out, go for it. And so far, so good. I'm really liking her podcast and it keeps me busy while I'm underneath here listening to the Saluma. Now, the last like product talk that I'm going to do before I end this segment is going to be um, tampons, real tampons. These are called real, uh, pronounced real and they are organic cotton tampons and they are chlorine free fragrance free uh and they are all plant-based applicators and they're good because you know sometimes you could get organic tampons and it's just like you have to change them every five seconds i mean we're all most of us are all women here sorry about this guys but like you know these are things that we we need and i do recommend these tampons i think that they are absolutely great okay so let me talk about some things that just came in luxury bag wise and then i'm gonna end this video all right let's jump into a couple of things that i received recently i will let you know if i bought them with my own coin or if they were gifted so first item is gifted let me show it to you you guys have seen kind of everything that I've already have, but I wanted to break it down. So I got this lavender Balenciaga bag. Check this out. I got this 
playing bingo with Neiman Marcus on Zoom. So Neiman Marcus had this like little, this little Zoom meeting thing and because we all couldn't be at events and you know, their influencers couldn't all get together. Neiman Marcus decided that we should play a game of bingo and I actually won. And this was one of the gifts. So you could trade it in if you want and play for the big prize. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I thought it was really cute and it is a great color. It's a bag that I don't have already and I kept it so this is this is the Balenciaga bag what do you think about it all right next up that I recently received just got this bag yesterday by the way is oh, so obsessed this is the Lady Dior in a glossy finish this is the first time they have ever done a glossy finish and it is beautiful get into that I wore it yesterday and I wore it when I went to go check out the new Dior flagship store right by the Apple store on 50, right across the street from the plaza. The store is beautiful. If you're in New York City and get a chance to visit, please go visit. It is like a, especially the jewelry, the jewelry alone, I'm like, oh my God. But this bag is so beautiful. And then this is the top to open it up. You would have to go inside and remove this flap. And then this is the inside. To be honest with you, I kind of like this flap when I'm on the train in New York City because people can't go inside my bag. That was also um, gifted by Dior, which was a very beautiful gift. And last gifted item is also this uh, Christian Dior mini. This is like their iconic, one of their iconic bags in a very mini size. Look how small and tiny it is. It does come with a strap. So you open it up like that. And then in the inside, I did fold up the strap and I put it back really nicely just to kind of preserve everything. But what can fit in this bag? Probably some lip gloss, a tampon, and some credit cards and your key. One key. Just one key. And you are golden. Very, very beautiful i actually would like to buy another one of these bags but one of their different ones maybe like the little mini lady dior which i'm obsessed with i got new shoes hold on i got these new amina you know you probably have seen this heel everywhere now before i show you this everybody was clowning me on dm which i love because it's like you know, I don't take myself too seriously. It's like, it's it's fashion. Let's have a little fun. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss, and it is what it is. But these shoes are like all the rage. So someone was like, girl, not you wearing shoes that look like the martini glass, like the heel looks like the martini glass from the dollar store. So now that, you, now that you've heard that, what are we thinking? These are it. Let's go ahead and look at that heel. When she told me that, I was like, oh. And I died laughing. However, the color is absolutely beautiful. And Amina is known for having this beautiful heel. Maybe it doesn't look good in the, P in the PVC, but I do have them. I have yet to wear them. Um, I missed the cutoff point to return them. I, I bought them from Net-A-Porter. If I can email Net-A-Porter and see if I can exchange them. Because I do want the Amina shoe, but I want it in leather versus the PVC because when I tried it on, it was not comfortable at all. And I have like these long toes that peer through the front and it's just like, I need it to be a little bit more comfortable, so. I got another gifted item from Fendi. Now, this is their new Fendi bag, Fendi First, F First, and it is stunning. Like, first of all, I still have like some of the plastic on the outside, but it opens here. This is by um, their creative director, designed this bag, Kim Jones. And this is his first debut with Women's Ready to Wear Collection for Fendi. And this is one of their bags. This is inside, I still have the stuffing, but you can kind of wear it as a clutch, but it, it also has a strap. So if you wanted to do a strap situation, you can. But overall, it is very, very luxe in a very cute bag. You can hold it so many different ways. Let me show you something about this bag that I really like. If you open it here, you can actually take this off. So say you didn't want the strap, you just wanna wear it as a clutch, which I love to do. You take this out, check this out. These actually swivel. So you pop it open and you swivel it into the inside and voila, 
Now you don't see like that little handle like sticking out. Very creative and great idea. My only uh, con about this bag is that it scratches so easily. The first day I got it, I dropped it on the floor when I got out of the car and I was like, my heart hurt. I was like, <gasps> Oh my God. So anyways, all that to say, this comes in different sizes. They come smaller, but I'm really happy that I got the bigger size because uh, fall is coming right around the corner and I needed another beautiful clutch that I can rock. Highly recommend. I mean, this bag is stunning. Okay, two more things and I'm gonna stop talking your head off and I'm gonna get out of here. But I got two new Marc Jacob totes. Now you might have seen these all over Instagram. These are the new tote bag by Marc Jacobs. It comes in a beautiful tie dye, which I love, but check this out. I also got a denim one. So it's like patchwork denim, which was all the rage last fall. And um, it's a little bit bigger so you can get an idea of what they look like. I think that they are reasonably priced. They're also very durable. Get into that. This is like a, a piece that I can carry to the beach or to do errands. This one's a little bit smaller and a little bit more stylish for me um, as far as like wearing it with an outfit. I had like this really cute striped outfit that I wore it with that was like bomb with some high socks. But overall, I thought it was just like a grab and go situation. Don't even have to worry. No fuss. So that is that. Um, those were also gifted, which was a really great gift. And I got one more gift. <laughs> one more gift. Dior sent over a Dior Riviera bag. Um, now this is more like a straw bag, which is really good for holiday. It says Dior Riviera on the back. I really like this. Even if it's um, a little bit thinner, it's really good for the beach. And because we are um, gonna go on vacation this summer, I thought that this would be a really great idea. And they popped in, look at this water bottle. I mean, I'm chic over here. I'm like, hi, I need a beach chair. Oh, who, me? No, let me take a swig of my Dior water. Mmm, it just tastes lovely coming out of this. Ta-ta, I'm going to my beach chair. Automatically, that felt luxe to me, right? I'm just kidding with you guys. So that's about it. We actually do have some new subscribers. So hello everyone. Um, just really briefly about me. I am a luxury influencer. So if you're wondering why I have some of these things that have been gifted, these are some brands that I work with and I'm very happy to work with and these are really awesome gifts. <laughs> I get to create content with some of these items and uh, put that content up on social media. It's a new era, new way of marketing. People don't really market in uh, commercials because we're not really watching TV that way so it's just a different form but that's about it I'm going to save all of the other chatty stuff for next week and I'm gonna enjoy my vacation because it's summer Friday and I only have I have to leave like now and my husband's waiting for me and I need to download this footage so I have to go but anyways if you think I'm a VOD make sure that you please subscribe I hope that you guys have a fantastic weekend you're gonna be watching this Saturday morning so happy Saturday and um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up make sure that you comment down below and I'll see you guys on Wednesday Peace out.